Hi, this is Vincent Randazzo for Lowry Research with this week's Stocks Vlog. As rotational cross currents continue to swirl, the most recent leaders are being challenged. Among the relationships being tested is that of small cap outperformance, a trend in place since late September of 2020. But since mid-March, large cap stocks have attempted to take back their mantle of bull market leadership. In response, this week we identify large cap stocks that have recently demonstrated a strong reacceleration of demand indicative of swelling relative strength. The buys slash sells and alerts tab off of the home page provides an array of self-directed pre-packaged stock screen lists on both the buys, sells, and alert categories pages. Keeping out of the contentious growth versus value argument, we focus on the less debatable short-term trend of large cap relative strength. The alert categories that best encapsulate this desire for a single factor of market capitalization are found in the upper right-hand quadrant. According to the average power rating relative strength of each segment, we can see with a current power rating relative strength score of 30 versus 28 for the strongest mid caps and 19 for the strongest small caps, the strongest big cap group is the most appropriate for further examination. Typically, stocks with the highest power rating relative strength scores possess the strongest probabilities of further intermediate term outperformance with the lowest probabilities of reversing those dominant trends of outperformance. With this category displaying the top 50 big cap stocks according to Lowry's proprietary single stock demand measure power rating, further filtering is needed to narrow the field. As well, depending on what the market circumstance Changing the sort criteria from the default of power rating to one or more of 23 qualitative sort criteria is most useful. We use our filter and sort button to filter for stocks with power rating relative strength scores in excess of the already elevated average of 30. At the same time, given the most recent market low occurred almost exactly three weeks ago, sorting by power rating momentum or three-week power rating change allows us to zero in on stocks that were able to absorb the most demand in that short time frame. The results are 28 large cap stocks with profiles of demand relative strength and the highest levels of demand momentum in the last three weeks. With still 28 well-qualified stocks, we use the View Charts button to carefully inspect each chart from first weekly, then daily perspectives, starting with stocks with the highest momentum First, according to Lowry's power rating momentum, with a seven-point rise in its daily power rating over the last three weeks, is Alphabet, ticker G-O-O-G-L, with a current power rating of 98 and a power rating relative strength score of 31. After having consolidated its earnings-related gains via a high-level base for the prior two months, the stock broke to the upside in recent weeks on the back of refreshed demand. The elevated and still rising trend of power rating relative strength suggests further new highs in relative strength in the weeks and months ahead. Next, retail giant Target, TGT, with an 8-point three-week jump in its weekly power rating, now at a maximum score of 99. In the latest week, the stock broke out of a multi-month consolidation pattern to the upside, supported by a strong burst of demand. At the same time, its power rating relative strength is re-accelerating higher while already at healthy elevated levels. This combination of factors represents a robust uptrend in price and relative strength, indicative of likely further highs and outperformance. Finally, NetApp, ticker N-T-A-P. NetApp is an American hybrid cloud data services and data management company. After having been in a multi-year idiosyncratic downtrend, the stock has bottomed and reversed course in recent months and has been virtually unaffected by the market's growth versus value battle royale, extraordinarily rare in the tech sector. Confirming this intermediate term trend reversal and new period of outperformance has been an unquestionably strong move in its power rating relative strength score back above the zero line in December of last year. Since then, price, power rating, and power rating relative strength have all made strides together as the stock approaches a new multi-year high. Another remarkable point about NetApp is the consistency of its power rating and ability to hold a maximum power rating of 99, its current level, where it was one, two, three, and four weeks earlier. It should be clearly understood that holding a maximum power rating is not a sign of overbought. It is only evidence of exceptionally strong demand. Given the longer-term price pattern, the apparent reversal, and robust trends of demand, the stock is likely to continue its winning streak. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us by emailing info at LowryResearch.com. This is Vincent Randazzo. Thank you, be well, and stay tuned.